Hi everybody, uh, Dave Smalley here in my Protect Me From The Sun gear, silly hat, real good SPF clothing. Let's see if I can switch the camera. Okay, today I will be continuing attempting to get the old paint off of this girl. <clears throat> this is the last coat that I did. Basically, you might be able to see here this old paint just flakes right off without much effort. Of course, now it won't do it. Uh, and I put some tape down to mark it. As soon as I pulled the tape off, the, the old paint just ripped right off. See that? So I got to get all the old paint off, get down to bare steel, and then paint it again. Uh, I don't know if you could see. I can't see what I'm doing here. Um, there's the line of the old paint. This is all scraped down the metal in fresh Rust-Oleum paint. Uh, let me show you what I'm using. I've been using that little Scotch-Brite uh, rough brush on my drill to scrape it down. This is the polisher that uh, I guess I need to replace that soon. And I just got this uh, Scotch Bright Rough from my side grinder, which should be quite a bit stronger. So now that I've got to go up near the uh, near the window, here, here's where you guys are going to sit on my extremely old and strange. What is that a Vivitar? that my brother gave me because he hated it and it's got flaws but it works basically everything my brother gave me I'm trying to hang on to all right so we get you in place hope it doesn't drop the phone hi Brenda Brenda I'm gonna be coming to you for help in the not too distant future I have some graphics work that I could use help on all right so First, I'm going to see if I can get yeah, Of course, I've misplaced my tape. Let's go find the tape. I really like this green tape. This is uh, Scotch Rough Surface. Uh, in Lowe's it was cheaper than regular blue tape and I think it does a better job. So, let's see. Wind is coming this way. This is called masking.
wind is pretty strong today so I had to tape it a bit better. I always like to do this to tape so I can pull it back off later. Okay, you may need to turn down your volume. This thing might get loud. From my car waxing days, my buddy, my mentor, taught me to give a few wraps on your cord. That way it won't accidentally unplug itself. Okay, uh, let's hope that this uh, works better than the, uh, the one on the drill. Let's see what we got. Nobody's working today. Well, check that out. What? Oh, I forgot to turn on the plug itself. Ah. Safety first. <laughs> I have three things I have to do to get the power to it. Didn't forgot. Okay, should have power on that line. Anybody else? Oh, Sylvia's watching, Brenda, uh, and Jade. Bring them on camera. Bring who on camera?
thing is a thumbs up? Uh, I would say it's cutting through that old paint ten times faster. What's my process? Uh, grind everything off, wipe it down with vinegar, dry it off, and shoot Rust-Oleum. Let's get this camera moved over so you can kind of see what it's doing. Now one thing I notice, there's bare metal. That is not bare metal. That's still some of the old uh, primer. And you can see this, this, this paint job was garbage. Some people in Tallahassee, the body shop, uh, Lily had a fender bender with this thing. I don't know, seven, eight years ago, probably eight, nine years ago. But you can see they did the world's crappiest paint job. Now, the one on the drill gets through to the steel, I think, better than this. This one is really good at taking this crappy paint off. Really, really good, like ten times faster. So I'll continue through it, and then I'll bring the drill back to try and get this final stuff back down to pure metal. So what's it say? A six inch three, yeah, but this is what I own. <laughs> I own the little four inch grinder. These uh, buffers were uh, relatively inexpensive. I think 20 bucks ish on Amazon. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this, this one, I don't know if you can see it. Hello, there it is. I bought it Harbor Freight a year or two ago, and it was really good for cleaning small parts. Really good. And it works, but it's uh, it's it's not really good for that large area. Okay, so let me, let me get back to work here. And thanks for the tips. Okay, hey, oh, Kate. All right, let's see if I can be safe. Now I noticed that my shirt decided to flap around and get too near the, uh, the tool, so rather than risk having it get caught, I'll button it up. I'm trying to leave it open because it's pretty hot out here right now. It's probably 80-ish and, and quite warm. Okay, uh, let's get back to work.
I think it does like 95% of the job, but there's, I'll show you there's some, some kind of staining. I don't know if this is, oh, I'm chewing that up pretty good. Yeah, I'm chewing, oh, okay, so I'll be using these up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be gone pretty soon. All right. Yeah, 
I think for the next uh, next batch. So this thing lasts about I don't know, one square foot. Oh, so I'm gonna chew these up. There's our male lady. Always nice to her. Okay, anybody else? Hi, Sharon. Sylvia, uh, I should be wearing a mask, yeah. That's why I'm, uh, if you'll notice, I take a deep breath and breathe out slowly and then step back and take another breath. Uh, thank you, Jade. Jay, uh, Sylvia, yeah, again, if you'll notice, I'm taking a deep breath and breathing out slowly. Because I don't feel like wearing a mask, because I'm stubborn. All right, let's get the drill. Oh, first, let me show you the quote imperfections. Uh, and I apologize, I cannot see this at all. I don't know if you guys can see it, but see that brown stuff there? It's just not coming off quick and easy. And there's some, this, this brown look. I don't know what this brown stuff is. So I'm gonna throw the drill on it. The drill was taking it down to bare metal. Once I got the old paint off, the drill was taking that little, that stuff there down pretty quickly. So I'm gonna try with the drill. See what we get. And it is pretty hot out here, folks. Hot as hell. Okay, let's screw it down so the phone doesn't fall. There we are. All right, let's try with the drill now. This thing, this one on the drill, uh, doesn't seem to wear. I mean, it just lasts and lasts and lasts. So I was expecting that one to do the same. That one wears out. This one, it doesn't wear down very quickly. Probably is wearing some, but it's barely noticeable. I plug in, I'm always listening in case that thing goes on. I want to yank it quick. Alright, let's see what we got. everything off so it's not so good at chopping off the old paint but it's really good at that final cut to get down to bare metal what's here hey Rachel all right so see the difference here to here I hope I'm point let me see if nice bare metal not quite bare metal yet. So again, that buffer, 
does a really good job of getting me down to bare metal. All right, so I will do I'll do the rest of this guy. Get that off of there and then we'll do the vinegar wash. Whew. Be nice if I was a young man with energy. I can only do this uh, in stages. Okay.
pretty good. All right. So we're down to bare metal. Oh, back is killing me. That leaning over to the middle is tough. But I got to get to the middle. So no excuses. Get it done. And now the cute little orbital sander. Uh, I don't have the thing for cleaning this. I should switch it out, but I'm not going to switch it out right now. Let's see what I get. And you can see how much dust it kicks up, and this is a uh, real nasty dust. But I've been doing this for a week now, and uh, without a mask, and I have not been sneezing or coughing up this nasty stuff. So my uh, my trick of holding my breath seems to be working. There we go. And this one's so huge. Come on, baby. Good, that one turn off. one kind of leaves very small gouges but they're gouges and this one leaves much smaller gouges uh, let's see if I can show you the difference okay anybody know hey Kelly's here hi Kelly who else James hey James all right so here we go with the Man, I cannot see this at all. With the orbital buffer, you can see the difference in the surface compared to just the big rough guy. So I'll finish buffing all that off, then we'll give it a nice... Uh, well, first thing I do is sweep it. Then I'm going to wash it with vinegar and then wipe off the vinegar. Give it a uh, dry, dry it off and then spray Rust-Oleum on it. Oh. Here's what I'm using. Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel Regal Red. And since it's a Buick Regal, I felt that was an appropriate color. Would have been nice if I could have color matched. But hey, I'm saving most of $3,000. Alright, so let's get the phone locked back in place. Don't want to drop it. There we go. It says it has a slow connection. Yeah, you're full of shit. It's the same connection. Alright. Back to
this. I'll give you a look at it. You may have noticed as I try to go near the edge of the hood, the uh, tools want to take off, so I had to put my elbow on the windshield in order to stop that. Okay. Well, first, just give it a basic sweep. Doesn't do much, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Oh, I should show you what I did. Oh, it's imperfect right here. All right, I'm not going to worry about that. It's, even though it's imperfect, there's a lip there, and it's really hard to deal with. I'll show you what I'm talking about. What I'm doing, the, the uh, my goal with this first coat of paint is merely to get all the old paint off and protect the paint because it'll start rusting in hours. Let's see. Right here. You can see a little imperfection in my sanding and right here. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it because I really like my surface. I like the feathered edges. Uh, I think this is going to be okay for now. This is imperfect, but all of this will be coming off uh, in further coats of paint. So right now, time to do the vinegar wash. Yes, I know there's better ways to do it. No, I'm not going to do it because I have vinegar. Bring them on camera. I don't know what bring them on camera means. What does that mean? I can turn on my light, something about the microphone, switch. Now it says slow connection. Oh, shut up. So bring them on camera. Does that mean one of these down in the bottom here? I don't know. Pick. Nothing's happening. Okay, I don't know what bring them on camera means. Maybe you guys can educate me. Alright, there you go. Telescope days. I only buy Viva paper towels because Viva has the wonderful property of not leaving any little particles uh, when you're finished with it. It, it, no, it. it doesn't leave those little dots with all of the others. Good day. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's mad when I get wet. 
Bulls dirty. See anybody else? Hey Janet. Oh Denise. What did she say? Dave Russell Gangs. Yeah, yeah. You got me. Bring them on. I don't know what bring them on camera means. You guys are gonna have to text me separately. Is that I, I don't see that option. Oh, okay. Rustolium. Comes with this cute little thing where you can adjust blah blah blah. Setting one is the only one that really works. The others are, I don't know. I tested them and they're foolish. All right, here we go. There we go. I'll show you a close up of it. Okay. 
Let's see what we got now. See if you can see. With just one coat, it seems to be doing quite a nice job. There we go. Oh, can't really see. Well, can you see that? I can see, well, I guess it's too bright. I can see the reflection of my hand in it, and that's just one coat, pretty much rough sanded. So I believe in a month or so, uh, it's going to take me a while. When I finally get all this old garbage off and have a full coat of it, then I'll do some real nice hand sanding. You know, with, uh, I'll probably start with 600 wet sand. Uh, and maybe even move up to 1200. I'm gonna put, uh, I, I plan to put at least three, maybe four coats. And if any of you guys got recommendations on this new, yeah, look how shiny it is. Oh, you can hear the uh, Air Force Base over there. It's 430. So again, it's cheap and dirty, but it's better than it used to look. Okay, Dave Smalley signing off. I love you guys. Goodbye.